Welcome to how to record an EIDL loan in QuickBooks Desktop. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And so uh, we're talking about the EIDL loan, which is the disaster loan. So if you're not familiar uh, with the, you know, the loans that are out there, the PPP loans and this other one, the EIDL loan, the EIDL is a disaster loan. It is not forgivable. It is an actual loan. Okay. Now, as part of the EIDL loan, there was an advance. You could get up to $10,000 as an advance. Uh, I do have another video on that uh, that you can check out and how to record that in QuickBooks. This deals with just the loan. Okay, so if you did get this loan, uh, the process was a little bit cumbersome. You went online, you applied. Uh, you would get an email later that said you need to create an account. You create an account. It tells you how much you're going to get. You say, okay. And then they come back and say, okay, you're approved uh, or not approved or whatever you're approved for, whatever amount. The maximum um, at this point is $150,000. And so some people are still getting it now. Um, I just got an email from a client yesterday that said, hey, I just got, you know, uh, the EIDL loan. I just got the email saying I could get it. So some people have gotten this, some haven't. Um, and so you need to know how to record this in QuickBooks. Okay. So this is a true loan, uh, payable over, you know, 30 years, uh, max interest rate, uh, three and three quarters percent. And, uh, you don't have payments on it for the first six months at least. Okay. So, uh, we want to record when this money comes into your bank account, we got to record that in QuickBooks and here's how you're going to do that. All right. So the first thing you're going to do, go to your chart of accounts. Um, I've got it up over here, uh, in the navigation pane, but you can go up to here to company and, uh, go down to chart of accounts. All right. Now this is going to be a long-term liability. And the reason it is a long-term liability is because it is, uh, it's payable over longer than one year. A current liability is something that is payable within the next year. And a long-term liability is payable, uh, in more than one year. Okay. As you can see here, we've got the EIDL grant. We've got to set up a separate loan for, or a separate account for the EIDL loan. So we're going to say in this uh, file, we're using account numbers. So I'm going to say 28955. All right. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to click new. And we're going to go over here. We're going to look at these. Uh, we're going to look on, in other account types because we're going to see the long-term liability down there. So let's choose this. We're going to hit continue. And it's going to go through all this. We're going to say, all right, 28,955. And we are going to simply call this EIDL loan. All right. We're not making this a sub account. Uh, you don't need a description or anything like that. All right. So you can just hit save and close here. And you will see now that we have this as an account. All right. So that first step is getting that set up so we can actually put money into that account. Okay. Now the money's going to come in and you're going to say, you're going to specify to the SBA, you know, I want this, uh, put directly into, uh, let's say the savings account. All right. We've got uh, a $17,910 balance. And let's say we gave the SBA the account number for our savings account, the routing number, and we want that money deposited there. All right. So what you're going to do, you're going to go up to banking and this money hits your bank account, gets deposited, and you're going to go to make deposits. Okay. There's a couple ways you can do this, but we're going to go through the make deposits. All right. So I'm going to hit cancel deposit to savings account date, 1215, 2023. Uh, and we're going to say receive from, let's say that we got this from the SBA. Okay. They're already set up as a vendor, so that's okay. They show up. If they're not, you can set them up as a new vendor and we're going to say from account. Okay. We're going to see a C E I D L grant pop up there and I'm going to say E I D L loan. All right. Now I'm going to type in my memo here. Just say E I D L loan proceeds. Okay. You can put in a check number. There probably is not a check number because this is a direct deposit payment method. If you want to choose this, you can, you don't have to, uh, and you know, you can add new EFT or wire or whatever you want to put. If you are class tracking, you would put that here and we're going to say the amount $150,000. Okay. So you'll see there deposit subtotal 150 deposit total 150. We're going to hit save and close. So now you'll see 
if I go to the savings account and I double click here in the chart of accounts, you're going to see my deposit right here, $150,000. Okay. And if I go down to long-term liability, EIDL loan, you're going to see that that's also $150,000. Now, let me show you quickly before I wrap this up, you know, uh, what this does on your financial statements. This is going to affect what's called your balance sheet, if you're uh, not familiar with that. And so we're going to go to company and financial. We're going to go to balance sheet standard. So we're going to say, we're going to look in here and we're going to say, uh, okay, we will see in the savings account that balance is the same as it was when I double clicked. And if I go down here, you're going to see, uh, we should see a loan down here, EIDL loan for $150,000. Okay. Now I have other videos on when you have to start making payments on this and you have interest and, and how you're going to, you know, what's called a split transaction on those payments. Uh, so be sure to check those out. Uh, also, uh, head over to the QuickBooks University. I uh, got a lot of great information over there. Uh, training course where uh, I answer your personal questions about QuickBooks as well. And uh, if you have any questions, any comments whatsoever, please feel free to leave those uh, below and I will talk to you soon.